Our students are really happy. They're thriving. Yes, they're wearing masks and yes, they're six feet apart, but our students are so happy. And that's because of our faculty. Just the level of commitment and the level of ingenuity and innovative thinking that they have engaged in has been amazing. COVID has shown the strength of the Brimmer community. It has shown the strength of our students and how, how adaptable they are, how flexible they are. So what happened last spring taught me that our faculty are ready for anything. And we have a team that can lead in just about any circumstance. They were amazing. They pivoted, they showed incredible leadership. I think one of the biggest secrets to our success was really engaging our entire faculty and staff. So whether you were a classroom teacher or not, we were really calling upon everyone to participate and be involved in whatever ways were needed just to support children. They were really trying to you know, reinvent, not even reinvent, but invent a new kind of school. And they, they really, I think, stuck the landing. They really did a great job. It was honestly better than you would expect remote learning to be. Our faculty worked all summer long thinking about their classes. I couldn't be prouder of the work that they've done since March, moving into the remote learning phase over the summer, doing all the professional development and curriculum development. And then this year, coming back to teach, but not just teach, but teaching with all of these other protocols in place. We believe that students should be in school and that was our priority. And so as soon as we realized we had the space to do that and we started exploring other alternative spaces like tents outside, we moved pretty much full steam ahead with having everyone back on campus. Most of my day-to-day -day was thinking about how do we make sure the air flows? How do we make sure kids can walk through buildings and see each other and be social, but also be correctly distanced. We knew that parents were taking a leap of faith. They, they were going to need to make a decision about whether they were gonna send their child back to school or not. And so in doing that, we tried to be as open and transparent with parents about our process as possible. It's just a certain level, you know, of trust between the faculty and the students that, that needs to be there. You know, when, when there's all of a sudden all these kinds of new rules, we need to, you know, be able to convey those to the students and know that they'll follow them. In the morning, we have to do the Brimmer Safety app, take our temperature, make sure that we're all clear to come to school and then once we get to school we wash our hands throughout the day we wear our masks and really from the moment that I come to Brimmer to the moment that I leave I feel safe. In a lot of ways like the school community is doing this much better than the outside community. I think in so many ways the children this has become second nature to them, that of course they're gonna wash their hands after they touch something, and of course they're gonna wear a mask, and it's strange not to keep distance at this point. So I think it, it's very quickly become part of our routine because everybody's working so hard to make it part of our routine. We've been really well supported by the, the administration and the board. I wouldn't be in here if I didn't feel safe, but we've had every resource that we've needed has been provided. We felt like the science backed us up. We felt like what we could have in place backed us up. When we needed more hand washing stations, when we needed to do a phased reopening because we didn't want to have all 400 students back on campus on the same day, anything that we said we needed, there was support um, from, from our head of school. And so because of that, we never had to falter. I go to middle school lunch and to watch the teachers deliver those the lunches to our kids before they even open their own is just symbolic of who they are as a team of people. And nobody's telling them to do that. That's just who they are. And that is so incredibly beautiful to watch. At Brimmer, we live by a set of core values, five of them, and they're kindness, respect, responsibility, honesty, and equity. Never in the time that I have been here have I seen those in action more than I do now. To drive our decisions, to enhance our programming, and to really continue to keep us safe and functioning. And we've talked a lot about this idea of like a dimmer switch right throughout the year and being prepared for you know, going, being in school full time, maybe going to hybrid, maybe needing to go remote, coming back full time, going back remote if needed. We just don't know what this year is going to look like and we don't know what the virus is going to do. What makes our response rooted in our core values and our mission is really the way in which we look at each person individually. And 
the way in which we are not just designing a, a program that we think people will fit into, but we're looking at who we are as our community, who our learners are. In the end, that's really who we are as a school, a school that takes personalization in an authentic way and really looks at each individual person and really thinks about how they can live out our mission. It definitely still feels like Brimmer. It's just a different variation of Brimmer. We've gotten incredibly positive feedback from parents about, first of all, they're just saying thank you. Thank you for working to get our kids back to school. And they are just so grateful for all the work that we've done, not only to get them back to school, but to make sure we were doing it in the safest way possible. We're an incredible community and I've always known that. I've worked here for 14 years, but this crisis and this, this virus has really shown how incredible we are and how strong we are um, and how dedicated we are to our students and their learning.